Good day, beloved of Christ. Welcome to prayer. A great start to the week on Monday, the 18th of July. Let's begin with a deep breath and then our introductory responses. The second phrase is yours. I'll repeat. God's love has been poured into our hearts. We dwell in Christ and Christ in us. Together, we dwell in Christ and Christ in us. Give thanks to the Lord and call upon the divine name. Make known God's deeds among the peoples. Together, make known God's deeds among the peoples. Sing to God, sing praises to the Lord, and speak of all God's marvelous works. And speak of all God's marvelous works. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Together, who was and is and is to come. Alleluia. The Spirit of the Lord renews the face of the earth. O come, let us worship. Psalm 41, appointed for today, again teaches us about how to be happy. Happy are they who consider the poor and needy. The Lord will deliver them in time of trouble. The Lord preserves them and keeps them alive so that they may be happy in the land. God does not hand them over to the will of their enemies. The Lord sustains them on their sickbed and ministers to them in their illness. I said, Lord, be merciful to me, heal me, for I have sinned against you. My enemies are saying wicked things about me. When will he die and his name perish? Even if they come to see me, they speak empty words. Their heart collects false rumors. They go outside and spread them. All my enemies whisper together about me and defies evil against me. A deadly thing has fastened on him. He has taken to his bed and will never get up again. Even my best friend, whom I trusted, who broke bread with me, has lifted up his heel and turned against me. But you, O Lord, be merciful to me and raise me up, and I shall repay them. By this I know you are pleased with me that my enemy does not triumph over me. In my integrity you hold me fast and shall set me before your face forever. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel from age to age. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Remember us, gracious God, when we are lonely and depressed, and support us in the dark night of grief and despair. For your love is faithful, and you do not forget your broken ones. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In Joshua today, verses 15 to the end of chapter 6, we hear about the fall of Jericho. Remember, this takes place on the seventh day, the day of completion. On the seventh day, they rose at daybreak and marched around the city. In the same manner, seven times, that was the only day that they marched around the city seven times. On the seventh round, as the priests blew the horns, Joshua commanded the people, Shout, for the Lord has given you the city. The city and everything in it are to be proscribed for the Lord. Only Rahab the harlot is to be spared, and all who are with her in the house, because she hid the messengers we sent. But you must beware of that which is proscribed, or else you will be proscribed if you take anything from that which is proscribed. You will cause the camp of Israel to be proscribed. You will bring calamity upon it. All the silver and gold and objects of copper and iron are consecrated to the Lord, so they must go into the treasury of the Lord. So the people shouted when the horns were sounded. When the people heard the sound of the horns, the people raised a mighty shout, and the wall collapsed. The people rushed into the city, every man straight in front of him, and they captured the city. They exterminated everything in the city with the sword, man, woman, young and old, ox and sheep and ass. But Joshua bade the two men who had spied out the land, Go into the harlot's house and bring out the woman and all that belonged to her as you swore to her. So the young spies went in and brought out Rahab, her father and her mother, her brothers and all that belonged to her. They brought out her whole family 
and left them outside the camp of Israel. They burned down the city and everything in it, but the silver and gold and the objects of copper and iron were deposited in the treasury of the house of the Lord. Only Rahab the harlot and her father's family were spared by Joshua, along with all that belonged to her, and she dwelt among the Israelites as is still the case for she had hidden the messengers that Joshua sent to spy out Jericho. At that time Joshua pronounced this oath, Cursed of the Lord be the man who shall undertake to fortify the city of Jericho. He shall lay its foundations at the cost of his firstborn, and set up its gates at the cost of his youngest. The Lord was with Joshua, and his fame spread throughout the land. The Word of the Lord Thanks be to God. I'd like to read to you a note from the Oxford Study Bible. Jericho is captured by following the Lord's instructions. Ritual ceremony plays an important symbolic function, overcoming the walls of Jericho. Seven priests, seven trumpets, seven days, seven encirclements on the seventh day, and a seventh day climactic victory. The preponderance of sevens recalls the seven days of creation, implying the creation of a new order in the land and continuing the ritual claim of the Holy Land. This is the first implementation of the harem, a ritual act. Ironically, the Canaanite prostitute Rahab and her family are exempted from the harem. The Jewish Study Bible adds this concerning the cherem. Prescribed denotes the sacral extermination or cherem of the enemy, a linking of violence and sanctity common to war ideologies. The destroyed enemy items, people, animals, and objects are consecrated to the deity who made the victory possible. End quote. Friends, the destruction of Jericho is most certainly a terrible judgment of the Lord upon the people. We can say that it was a brutal time of history. We can say that such warfare was not uncommon in the Middle East. We can say the Lord is making a new beginning and in a very powerful way, separating the ancient Israelites from the local inhabitants of the Holy Land, separating them from idol worship there. Yet we are silenced by the savagery of the conquest, and we take some solace knowing that Jesus calls us to love and to pray for our enemies. May God grant us the grace to so do. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the peace of the world. The Lord grant that we may live together in justice and faith. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for this country, especially for Queen Elizabeth, the Governor General, the Prime Minister, and all in authority. The Lord help them to serve this people according to his holy will. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the children and young people, especially for our musical theater camp this week. The Lord guide their growth and development. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the sick. Today we lift up Joan, Keith, Richard, Ricardo, Laura, Rose, Lee, Zach, Albert, Joan, I invite you to pause the recording to pray for any upon your hearts. The Lord deliver them and keep them in his love. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who are condemned to exile, prison, harsh treatment, or hard labor for the sake of justice and truth. The Lord support them and keep them steadfast. Lord, hear our prayer. We remember the prophets, apostles, martyrs, and all who have borne witness to the gospel. The Lord direct our lives to the same spirit of service and sacrifice. Lord, hear our prayer. Gathering our prayers, we pray as Jesus taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Beloved, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. And now, my friends, the peace of God, which passes understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the blessing of the Creator, the Redeemer, and the Sanctifier. Enfold you and all that you love, this day and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Have a blessed day today.